All right. Well, welcome back to the iWealth Podcast. Today, I'm with Sean Pomeroy and JP Eakin from the Wasika office. Thanks, guys, for being here. How to retire early. So I had this question recently, like walking down the street and somebody stopped me and they're like, how do you retire early, Brad? And it made me pause. Like there's so many different answers that can kind of come to that. But JP, let's the, real quickly, what popped in your head when I said, and then let's go to Sean. First thing that popped in my head is, is and I hear it from, from my friends, right? Um, is they don't have a true understanding of how beneficial it is to begin saving when you're young. Mm. They don't understand how compound interest throughout your lifetime is eventually going to turn into a large chunk of money down the road and then at least allow you the financial freedom to possibly um, make the choice to retire early. I think a lot of it gets to you know, we think it's so far away and then all of a sudden we're 50 and we're trying to play catch up. Right. Is, is what we see. Yeah. Yeah. So start early. Yeah. Sean, what popped in your head? So how do you retire early? Like if someone stopped down the street, what would you say? I've had, I've had young clients ask me before and I said, well, what's your retirement look like? You know, do you want to, do you want to retire and live on a boat? You know, maybe they nod their head. Yes. And I said, okay, well, is that boat in a marina on the St. Croix? Or is that boat in a marina in Tampa? Or is that boat on the back of a trailer getting pulled behind your 20-year-old rusty <laughs> truck? <laughs> They're all different. Right. And, and the old adage of having a million bucks and you can retire, I don't think it's true anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and, and somebody's got to help walk through that and kind of come up with the what ifs or the, you know, well, how are you going to do insurance? You know, and just yeah. it may not be picking it apart that you can't do it. Yeah. It's going into it eyes wide open. Yeah. You know, my, my first thought was, why? Why do you want to retire early? Yeah. Like, I don't want to, but again, that's me. They might want to. And then my next comment is, stay out of debt. You know, debt, debt, debt. Like, that debt mm -hmm. can just, just hamstring a person if they have all that debt that's going on. So try to stay out of debt. Save at least 10%. You know, I try to go talk to some high school kids, and it's like, save 10%. Debt is evil. Like, mm -hmm. I make them repeat these things, <laughs> you know, as they go. But... It's, uh, it's super interesting. And then the flip side happens that they get there. They can retire early. And then you're like, now what? And well, how does that conversation go, Sean? Like, have you had that conversation where somebody's like, well, wait a minute, maybe I don't want to retire? Yeah. And I, I think for a lot of people, the, maybe they're trying to retire because they don't like what they're doing. They hate their job. They hate their boss. They hate whatever it is. And when they understand that they might have that freedom, They've got the money. They've got the resources. They had the plan. By the way, they saved in a Roth instead of saving it all pre-tax. Mm -hmm. So they've got the liquidity at it. Um, and all of a sudden, they're the, they're the one in charge. Yep. They can make the decision if they're going into work the next day or not. Yep. A lot of them stay working. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. JP, what's super interesting is the three of us, none of us said, pick the magic stock, right. buy the great ETF. Find the world-class money manager. Like, mm -hmm. why didn't we say that? Because, I mean, I mean, I think that the saving aspect of it is is more important. And it's such a it's such a one-off one that you're going to find that best ETF and best stock or best money manager. And bottom line is, is you could find that and you could still make some of the poorest decisions possible and ruin all of those gains that you accomplish if you don't do the correct planning on it. Like to Sean's point on how are you gonna pay for insurance? Is it Roth or pre-tax? You know, if you wanna retire early, it's pretty hard if all of a sudden everything that you have is in a pre-tax account. Right. Costing you 10% extra huh? and, and taxes. And taxes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it depends on what state you retire to too. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah, yeah, it's super interesting. Well, there you are. Hopefully you got some tips on how to retire early or maybe what not to do when it comes to retirement. So thanks a lot for tuning in and have a great day.